Hey guys, Mom and Son Train Real fans coming to you, to you from Mini Prince at the Amherst Train Show. And Artie is getting ready to be scanned by Bernard to get himself in a mini print. So we are going to video Artie. And there's Anthony and everybody else. We're going to video Artie. Dave. Hey. Well, they have to account for. It's actually turning. Look at that. Oh, you can't make him laugh? I was just hoping it would start turning. Look at Artie on rotation. Oh my God, he's so serious. We're trying to get Artie to laugh. There's Sparky. If you're asking where Ray is, he took off again. So he's walking around the building. This is all about Artie. And Bernard at Mini Prince. That's Bernard at Mini Prince. He's from Canada. And he will scan you and make a miniature 3D print of you. I saw somebody building a booth they were doing that. Yeah. I asked the lady, I said, can you take like 10 or 20 pounds off? And yeah. like make me look good for like my dating profile. <laughs> What did she say? She didn't lie to you, did she? <laughs> she thought it was a good idea. Okay. She didn't work on it. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you think? What's your story? I'm not, I know. I'm to pleading the fifth. <laughs> I'm married, so I'm pleading the fifth. That might be, but this whole be pushing the limits of AI. <laughs> all this, all these guys here are part of our train community. So, and Artie is from Australia, so he flew over. Who? Artie, who's on the scan right now? Yeah, he's You're one of our friends. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. Yep, but all this group here is part of our train community on YouTube. We have a channel on YouTube. I'm from South Carolina. Originally. Yeah, me and my son have a channel, and we build layouts, train layouts, and he has autism. So, but he's running around looking at trains right now. So we decided to stay here and video our friend Artie. Bernard is really good. Down in North Carolina, on the, the outer banks of North Carolina, you got that giant sand dune there. And there's a woman at NC State. Um, I assume it's the same thing. It's a LIDAR technology that they fly over top of the sand dune and they were taking three dimensional models of the sand dune. Because okay. they were studying it over time to see how it moves with the weather and so forth. They were trying to preserve, I guess. And we're 
recently my wife had uh, dental implants, and the dentist has a little thing he puts in your mouth, has a little mirror on it, and he does the same thing. He moves the wand around, and it builds a 3D model of the inside of your mouth. That's how he designs. It is. It's it's it's, it's uh, 3D printing is becoming it. Well, yeah. Well, this is like a whole different. You know, this is like building the model. It's a fascinating. You're doing good, Artie. It's impossible to keep up with all the changes. Man, I'll tell you what, he's a trooper. He reminds me of one of those guys that stands out in front of the palace over in England, you know, and he can't move for like hours. <laughs> he's being a trooper. <laughs> Actually, when I first spotted him, I wasn't sure if he was real. <laughs> oh. He was, he was being so still. Oh, so Good job, buddy. He sends all over the world, so. It's interesting that even though as he, as he moves the position of the skills it looks like the software is taking that into account and it's still keeping the model in the same spot. Good job, Bernard. Yeah. 